I've said we'll talk later. And we will. And crying won't fix it. Richard, I'm sorry I'm late. Did Janice offer you a drink? Several times. But I didn't come here to drink tea. So how did the meeting go? We had a long and frank discussion, and the decision was unanimous. It gives me no joy to serve a warning notice on this school. On what basis? We believe there's been a total breakdown in management. So this is about me? And what about our meeting at lunch? I thought we'd talked a few things through. Karen, you're meant to be an experienced head, but you asked my advice on how to run your school. That, on top of all the other failings, left the council with no confidence in your You ability. had this planned all along. Clearly, you're very upset. It's understandable. I'll give you some time to digest the news and be in touch as to what happens next. Is everything all right? Oh, you look... What is it, Janice? Oh, it's... you need it. It's Sam's memorial. Tom? Would you mind reading my speech? Sam's memorial? Why? What's the matter? I... I just don't think I'm the right person to do it, that's all. Karen, of course you are. I don't know. I'm not really sure whether I'm cut out for this, to be honest. When we lost Sam the way that we did, I learned a lot of things. One of which being that you don't just give up when the road gets bumpy. Do you know what she'd say? She'd say, stop being a stupid old cow and get your ass in gear. We've got to carry on. We're still here. I better get my house in gear then, hadn't I? Yeah. I feel very proud to be here today. Proud to have known someone as special as Zambuka Kelly. The first day I met Sam, I was new to the school and at the time, Sam seemed to me to be one of my biggest challenges. She was full of attitude, was opinionated and very mischievous and that's putting it politely. At first, I tried to control Sam big mistake. Sam was wonderful because she knew who she was and she'd fight for what was right. She taught me what Waterloo Road is all about. Life has a habit of throwing up some very big challenges to each and every one of us when we least expect them. And it's how we deal with them that matters. Sam never ran away from anything in her life. She faced things head on. And I know that I'm not the only person here today who will miss her more than words can ever say. Amy and Finn, over to you. Hey, 
you. Come here. We'll get through this, you know. I don't know how, but we will. What if we forget about? No, that's never gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, I am a few. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. But we'll pop round later, see how you're doing. You know, I think you two should have some time together. Just the two of you. you sure it's, it's no problem. Yeah, I'm fine. I've got Denzel and Prince to look after me. You know where we are if you need anything. Thanks. Mrs. Fisher, got a bit of a proposal for you. Go on. Well, I know that the school is struggling a bit, and I... Well, I'd like to help. English Masterclass. Courtesy of yours truly, open to years 10 and 11 on a Saturday morning. That sounds like a great idea. Mm. Starting next term, I will be here. Uh, teach you, uh, as usual, next term. Yeah. Is this about the redundancies? There are no redundancies. But thank you very much for your offer of a Saturday school. I'm sure it'll help the school. file was confidential and you shouldn't have read it. Yeah, but... Sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you have a minute? It was a nice speech. Thank you. I've told Naomi it's over. It's never going to work. And, uh... I was just too stupid to see it, and I am sorry. I am. Um, I don't care about Naomi, Rob. Not after today. Jess is pregnant. She just told me. And yes, before you ask, it is Aidan's. You need to sort that boy out. He's out of control. didn't even say goodbye. And what? You were, uh, thinking of going with her, were you? I had to, Dad. I've let you down. I've let everyone down. We could have worked things out. All right, just hang on a sec, son. Let's just get one thing straight. Your mother, she didn't leave because of me or because of you. She left because of who she is and what she is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is... Is... Is this what she did last time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, Aiden, there's something else you should know. Jess is pregnant. And it's yours. Her mum just told me. I'll put some stuff into a bag and I'll just go. You're going nowhere. 
I'm really sorry, Dad. What about your job? This place? I have ruined everything. Well, I, uh... Do you know what? I don't know what's gonna happen. But I do know one thing. You're stuck with me. Jess, can I have a word? Jess, about what happened earlier. I don't think I handled it very well. What's it gonna do to you, Mum? When this lot find out? No matter what, I'm here for you. Tell me. Tell you about what? About the warning notice. I've just spoken to the governors. They've been trying to get hold of you. No, I was going to when we'd finished here. This just seemed a lot more important. Hey, you know that I'm behind you, don't you? And the rest of the staff, they will be as well. What if they're right, Chris? What if Waterloo Road would be better off without me? Don't be ridiculous. We are going to fight this. I just don't want to let anyone down. Will you give up now, and you will do. Fights on. You're a failure. This school is a failure, and it will be closed. I thought we were going after Karen Fisher. Eleanor, you can't back out now. You're gonna deny it? She's up the duff as well. You're disrupting the whole school. You know that? You can stuff your school. She slept with my boyfriend behind my back. Don't you think she's had enough punishment? Oi. Can we lose them? Why are you not serious? I need that grass back. Our priority has always been our pupils. Pupils like Jodie Allen. This is her last chance. And I'm suspending you. <laughs>